And we are back. Welcome back to another Newbie Views. Today, thanks to a subscriber who mentioned that uh, they'd like to see a review on Stouffer's TV Dinners uh, a little while back. I finally gotten around to it, but I thought I'd do an epic. Not just a good video, but an epic video. So I went out and bought a whole bunch of Stouffer's frozen TV dinners. I brought them to work and you'll see down the video. It's pretty impromptu. I just literally had one for lunch for a couple of days in a row. Uh, sometimes two of them. The results were pretty much predictable. They suck. I'm sorry, that's the way I feel about it. I mean, it's either mushy, they're all too salty, the texture was like mush. There's nothing crunchy about a frozen dinner. Now, some of them were a little more outstanding, like the pot roast, uh, the turkey dinner was fine, but all the other pasta-based ones were not good. They're just too runny, they're too liquidy, it, it's not good. Now that being said, this is day six or seven for me. This is the very, very last one I have. I thought I'd do an outro at the end or the beginning, whatever you want to call it. But I'll stick this at the front to give you a warning. During this week coming up, or in the past, you'll see a lot of different videos. They're all kind of point of view, a little bit different. But just to let you know, this is the last one and I'm really sick of these things. They're salty, they're pretty bland and flavorless. The ones that had meat in it were the best tasting ones. Just because you can get a bite onto it, something to chew on. These passes, these are no better than just leftovers that you had. All right, I'm gonna go heat this up and I'm gonna go and review it for you right on screen. So hang tight, I'll be back shortly. All right, guys, here we go. It's lunchtime. Today we are looking at Stouffer's. And grab the receipt again. So here we have our no frills. And we're looking at some Stouffer's, Stouffer's, $4.99, $3.99, lasagna was $3.99. Okay, let's try this morning the chicken and rice. Oh, let's check the bag cam.
All right, checking the box out. Stouffer's. Creamy chicken and rice. Reality? Ugh. Sorry, folks. A lot of people are in the lunchroom here. I'm gonna do my quick review. Flavor consistency. Well, guys, this is rice. It looks like freaking rice. There's not much I can say. A couple pieces of chicken. All right, let's have a bite. He loves it. <clears throat> I'll do a voiceover. Too many, too many chickens in the hen house, hen, hen house here. Holy fuck. I paid five dollars for this. And the mashed potatoes from powder, you know how I feel about fake potatoes. It was not even that good. It had no butter flavor. It was just like white eating white blanded paper. It, it was not good. The meatloaf was probably my favorite because how bad can you go with hamburger and pork and all that sort of stuff mixed together. The seasonings were fine, but boy. That gravy was, again, gelatinous. It's the same, I'm going to use the same, it was the same formula throughout all their gravies. It's like they have a lot of fillers and binders. It was very artificial. The color looks pretty, oh, it was brown and tan. I'll leave it at that. I wasn't a fan. I'm sorry I burnt it. I cooked it way too long as per instructions. Uh, there's no excuse for that, but it still wasn't passing the flavor test regardless. And it was pretty greasy.
Wow. All right, guys, I do have to apologize. Uh, it was probably my fault. I cooked it too much, and it got really hard. Ooh, I just had to spit it out. <laughs> There's nothing I can really say about it. It was overly salty. There was a lot of sauce, which is good, but the pasta was unfortunately overcooked. Followed the instruction in the box. Four, five minutes, well, four minutes plus five minutes is way too long. I should have tested it. Anyway, Stouffer's right now, that's a zero out of five. I've had it before and I cooked it better. I thought that was pretty good though. But right now, zero out of five. On to the next. Yeah, I'm going to use a voiceover because somebody's talking. <laughs> The turkey dinner. Wow, this is one of the ones that surprised me. The chunks of turkey were delicious, although it was salty. 
And again, same compliments. And again, same issues with the gravy. It was lumpy. It had a lot of gelatinous fillers. And it just wasn't very appealing. The worst thing about this was the stuffing. The stuffing was this mixed bread. And the bread, when it was microwave, either turned shriveled up into little nuggets of of uh, bread or it was soggy because of the gravy it was just an overall mess it wasn't very tasty at all and the seasoning again there really wasn't any seasoning it was like eating bread Okay, so what can I say about the mac and cheese? The mac and cheese. The cheese was like a liquid processed American cheese. Really had that artificial cheese flavor. The worst thing about it though, the sauce was gritty. It's like having cornmeal at the bottom of your pizza. You can taste that little bite, a little bit of crunch to it. Just little sex. It's like sand. It was like eating sand. Really disappointed with that. That's my only real grape out of it, but beyond that, I don't recommend it. You can make craft dinner, bring it to work cheaper than you can with this. Three minutes, all right. That looks promising. Oof. Beef pot roast. Red potatoes. And first steamy look doesn't look that bad. Yeah. Mm. The advertised. In reality, advertised reality it doesn't look that bad, and it tastes amazing. The beef pot roast, wow. it was pretty good. The beef was healthy, it's got good chunk, it's got good bite to it. The gravy, though, was all gelatinous, it was the like there's stick. too much gelatin in it, potato. and it looked really glo globular. Ooh. It was not appealing. Mushy potato. The worst thing about it was the potatoes, reconstituted frozen Rubbery. potatoes are not good. Sure. They don't taste good at all. Bad consistency. And the pieces were so small, it's like you didn't know what you're really eating. I know it's potatoes, but it did feel that way. Ugh. But frozen flavor potato. overall, it was Rehash. beefy enough and it was really salty once again. The highlight of this is the beef. Actually, it's pretty good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, folks. This is the advertised item. Stouffer's 
spaghetti bolognese. In reality, actually, you know what? Let's do it a favor. I'm gonna pull off the top. Wow. Nasty. You see the steam off that? Put it in a TV tray. Ha <laughs> look. Alright, let's get, let's let's do a quick stir up on this. So you've got meat sauce. Little chunks of ground beef, tomato sauce. I think there was cheese incorporated sauce when I mixed it together here. But realistically, that's that's it. So this is five dollars, or no, I think it was three ninety nine. It's pretty basic, and you get uh, two hundred and seventy grams, or about. Eight ounces of leftover spaghetti. Oh, I mean frozen bolognese spaghetti. Uh, is it worth $4? You know, if you guys had spaghetti last night and you had leftovers, I think it would taste just as good as this. That's just a guess. All right, this is piping hot. <laughs> I've been eating this for the last week. I am sick of Stouffer's. Uh, I, I have a feeling this is going to not be very good, but all right, let's go. Last one. Last time forever. So I don't know if you know the story. Stouffer's is leaving Canada. They're taking along Delicio, Lean Cuisine, Lean Cuisine Light, Stouffer's, Delicio. All those four items are being removed from Canada. I don't know when. So here's a review of pretty much everything I could find at the grocery store. Except for their bowls, which is around $7, but it's the same stuff. All right, here we go. First bite. First and only bite. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Doesn't smell like anything. So the spaghetti actually has some bite to it. I didn't overcook it, but it's boiling, boiling hot. It's burning the top of my roofs, of my mouth, so... It has some bite. If you want them al dente, it's not al dente, but it does have a little bit of a bite. It does not have an overly salty flavor. I'm shocked, like to the point of, holy crap. Let me check that macro on that. Sodium, 510, 22%. Well, I'm wrong. Remember, this is only 270 grams, which is, quote-unquote, about 8 or 9 ounces. 9 ounces, 10 ounces of, of spaghetti. That's all it is. 22% salt. The meat pieces, um, well, they're meat pieces. What else do I tell you? Ground beef. Tomato sauce is very lacking, by the way. There's no tomato flavor to it. It's just here. Holding it together, binding it. Do I dare say that this is the best pasta dish that they make? Because it's so simple, you can't really screw it up. Um, I give it a whole two out of five. Like, it's okay. Mmm. I've eaten six days of this, seven days of this. I'm sick of them. So, I, like I said before, Stouffer's is going away from Canada. They are leaving along with Delicio and their Lean Cuisine stuff. This is $4. It used to be about $2 and change. So it's jumped up. You don't get any more food. You still get this terrible nutritional value out of it. Check the macros. Stouffer's, you're leaving. Nestle, you're taking away Stouffer's. I think the public will be more, I'll say more, happier when you leave because then you're losing all this 
bad nutrition. Guys, go back to cooking. You can buy dry pasta for two bucks. You can buy some sauce for two bucks and boom, you got a whole bunch more. Stouffer's is leaving Canada. Well, I say good riddance to you. There really isn't any good place for this. I know there might be some naysayers out there saying it's the best food ever. Well, everybody's palate is different. That's all I have to say. All right, guys, go ahead. Continue to watch the video for the rest of the week coming forward. Like I said, this is day seven. It's out of sequence, but I just want to let you know what you're up for. And if you go through the next 30 minutes and watching all the ones, well, great for you. And hey, you know what? Give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the like button. And until then, uh, hit your notifications on. Sub Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications for our next video. The next video will be a better video since I'm not going to do any more frozen dinners. These are terrible. Until then, leave your comments. What do you think of Stouffer's leaving Canada? Have you tried them? Do you like them? Do you totally disagree with what I'm saying? Remember, these are pretty expensive. And as inflation goes up, so does the price of these. So Stouffer's out of Canada. Stouffer's out of Canada. Well, how often can I do that? Stouffer is out of Canada. Good riddance. All right, we're out.